This is your palpation video for Anatomy and Physiology Lab 2011, lab number one. On his anterior surface, we have the anterior axillary fold. If we go superiorly, the bony landmark at the tip of his shoulder is his acromion, which we can then follow medially along his clavicle just inferior to the clavicle anteriorly. Another bony landmark is this coracoid process. If we now turn posteriorly, we again have his acromion, which we now follow posterior and medially along the spine of his scapula. We also have the medial border of his scapula, the lateral border of his scapula, and his posterior axillary fold. If we come again anteriorly, we have his bicep and distal bicep tendon, as well as his tricep and distal tricep tendon. At the elbow, we have his medial epicondyle, which is also the site of the common flexor origin, and his lateral epicondyle which is the site of the common extensor origin. We also have anteriorly his antecubital fossa and posteriorly his olecranon. Further distally, if we move down to his wrist, laterally we have the radial styloid process, medially we have the medial styloid process, and in his hand at the base of his fifth metacarpal. We have his hypothenar eminence and at the base of his first metacarpal we have his thenar eminence.